Good evening, everyone. My name is Hussein Amzad, and today I'm going to present to you about Bahrain country. Bahrain is a really small country in the Middle East, and I'm going to tell you why I picked that country and why you guys should visit. So, Bahrain, that's Bahrain flag. It's white and red. There's a, a country flag that looks like it, but it's kind of the red is darker than this, so don't you guys get confused with it. So, this is Bahrain. Bahrain is located just off the eastern coastline of the Saudi Arabia in the Persian Gulf. So, you see Bahrain, it's like a really tiny island located in the middle of Saudi Arabia and Qatar. And there is UAE, it's United Arab Emirates. And when you see that side, over there it's Iran. And that's the Bahrain is located in the middle. So, King Hamad, the Prime Minister Al Khalifa is the, the king of Bahrain. And Manama is the capital city in Bahrain. It used to be a city called Muharraq, like in the past of the 90s. It was, but then they changed it to Manama right now because maybe the population is up or whatever. And the population, the population is like a one million three eighteen million in that really small island, and that there's just these people that there. So the religion, religion actually in general in Middle East, like what we call it Arabic country too, most of them they are Muslims, but in that country they try to raise every other religion. So there's like a thousand Christian citizens there, and also there's like 40 Jewish citizens, and the rest of it, Muslim. Weather. The weather there always hot and humid. They are from June to June to September with temperature averaging 100 Fahrenheit. I know it's hot and humid, but that's what island should be <laughs> look like. Bahrain, Bahrain currency, it's dinar, and the dinar worth two dollars two point sixty five. How to get there? It's funny to say in that, but I mean most people they will say yeah flying or driving, but in the back of the time, there is no way to get there by using your car or anything. I'm gonna talk about it, but let's talk about flying. Bahrain has the Bahrain International Airport. It's the only airport in Bahrain. Next, the King Fahad Causeway. This causeway, it's built in July 8, 1981, and it cost 1,800 million dollars. Before that, there is no way to get there by a car, but, but most of them they use like a boat or a ship or something like that. I mean, my grandfather told me he, he went like in the 70th or 60th with the ship. So now this help a lot with, uh, with help with people who from like um, a country or one of the people who live around the Bahrain, from like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Emirates, more, all of them, they have to go from Saudi Arabia to get to that country or the island. And that causeway was built by um, King Fahad from Saudi Arabia. He built it because they have a really good relationship between these two countries. And kind of they are related or cousins, whatever. Anyways, place, places to visit. Bah Bahrain Gates. This gate look like a castle, but I mean actually it's not. In the back of the time, like in the 70s, there's like a gate for that country. So everyone who needs to go there to that country, he has to cross that gate. It's not mean, it's important, but I mean actually it's like the first gate you have uh, to cross in that country. And behind that gate, you will see a lot of old 
uh, stores, like how they do the old furniture, clothes, food, whatever. It's kind of a little museum, but actually it's not it's like, a, you know, it's like a market. Also, there's the Bahrain National Museum. That museum is really nice to go to visit to tell you how Bahrain was in the past and how, uh, how they used to, you know, build their houses, how Bahrain looked uh, before they uh, built the causeway and how the people who used to go to like uh, travel with the boat. It's really nice to to go and learn about other cultures and about that people who live in Bahrain. This is called Amoj Island. We know, we already know Bahrain is actually this island. But this island is like, in, it's a, way, a little away from Bahrain, but it's not that far, but actually in, in Bahrain. But this island is really nice and nice place to go to visit the people who are like interested to go like you know fishing you know scuba diving like chilling beside the beach and it's really quiet and most of the people who who I know or who people who live in in the Arabic country they used to go or they usually go there for like the people who have like uh, honeymoon, something like that. Like it's really quiet. It's not like other island. Like most of the most most of these islands, like really crowded and like in summertime. I'm not saying it's not it's not gonna be crowded there, but it's, it's still it's gonna be quiet. And you can see like there's all of these islands covered by hotels and buildings. It's not just the island. Maybe it's smaller than Bahrain, but actually. Get a place you know you can visit when you go to Bahrain. Bahrain also have a formula like they have that formula like they do actually once in a year and there's a lot of people came from different countries and that's do once like it do for from June to July I guess once in a year but uh, sometimes they change it a bit like. The schedule or whatever, and it's really nice to, to go there during, like, you know, having your trip. Also, the country, I mean, the island where Bahrain is, it's really small, but if you're gonna see that's numbers of hotels, just like 250 hotels. Some of them has five stars, some of them three, some of them more, and every year, there is a new hotel, a new building in Bahrain. Some of them they built in it as uh, apartments, some of them they built in it as regular hotels, some of them they do it like, like for a company, some of them do it just for like, you know, design or like more, something like that. And Food. I know I didn't talk about food that much, but there is a common food in every Arabic country. You might find rice with meat, rice with chicken, people they see it everywhere. But this country has the special traditional dessert. It's called halwa. It's made by sugars and I don't know how they made it, but actually it's the best things you will find in Bahrain. You might not find it in different countries because they might not know how to make it. But when you go there, you should grab you some of this and bring it with you. <laughs> Most of the people, when they eat that, I know that's really sweet, but some of them, they eat it and they drink with it like Arabic coffee or whatever it's called, and making it taste better. And and this website help you, like there's a couple of websites like, to show you like how you can find hotels and you might find a couple of programs or package like 
paying for like hotels and the ticket or whatever, all of it together, it might not cost you that much. And some of them, they tell, some site will show you like, if you want to plan to go to Ireland, the uh, Amoite Island, tell you how much, how much day you should spend, how much it's gonna be cost, cost in one night, whatever, and that's all. But there's like a lot of company who do that. And and there's another one also show you like about all the information like about weather and details, whatever it do. But the thing is, when I when I was looking for a country, most people they are always think about two things <laughs> before they travel. How much money they will spend and how much fun they will have. And this well, that's a, this country it was the best things for average people, lowest people, highest people. And I guess everybody will enjoy it when they go to visit. But they should go in the summertime. Because in the summertime, there's a lot of activities going on, a lot of things you can find there, and you might have a lot of fun. But when you go in the winter time, everything's like slow, nothing, nothing, there's not any activities. And I guess that's, that's it. And thank you guys. And I hope you guys enjoy my presentation. And whenever you decide to go there, please go visit these places and you will have fun. Thank you.